I got Panda Express, but oh, I get a bowl with half chow mein, half white fried, or like half white rice, and orange chicken. It's delicious. Fantastic. You know what? Let's talk about one of the hot topics currently, and that's consumerism in BookTube. Or on BookTube. Even though I'm a small BookTuber, I really want to weigh in my opinion on this. I actually just watched Emma Book's video yesterday that she posted about consumerism on BookTube, and I will link it down below. But she mentioned the new BookTuber, like, buying every single book that you're remotely interested in buying. And I commented on it. And I was like, I'm, I started booktubing within the last six months, and I haven't, like, felt that way. Like, I have to own a lot of books to grow in the community. And actually, since I've started booktube, I have bought a lot less books. I have bought, in the first three months of 2019, I have bought less books than I did in one month in 2018. So we're talking about consumerism, but why are we talking about it as it as if it's making a huge difference to anyone but that specific booktuber? And as Emma Books was talking about, it is your own personal insecurities that make you want to buy a lot of books when you start booktube. And I, I'm just speaking for myself. I haven't. I haven't felt that I need a lot of books to grow in the community, but like. Why are we shitting on other people for their book buying habits just because we can't or we don't buy as many books? I completely understand the privilege I personally have being able to buy books and having that amazing opportunity to own as many books as I do, but I also want to do a lot to make sure other people have that same opportunity. And I frequently use my library. I actually donated over a hundred books to my school library previously this year and people have checked out those books since and loved them. And one of the series of books that I donated was the entire Throne of Glass series, all the way from the Assassin's Blade to Kingdom of Ash. I bought every single one of those new, yeah on Amazon and at Walmart, but every single one of them new and I did not feel a single shred of regret donating them to the library because I know people are going to enjoy those books more than I did. It was my prerogative in the beginning to buy those books and no one told me, oh you shouldn't buy those books or like that's a bad decision and then other people are getting use out of my purchase. The other thing is something that I haven't really heard anybody talk about when talking about consumerism in booktube and that is that it is fueling the community. So if booktuber A buys, goes out and buys a bunch of books, they're supporting each of those authors of the books that they buy, as well as whatever bookstore. Say they buy them from an independent bookstore. Some people do, some people don't, but say they do. They are supporting that many people. They are supporting the individual bookstore, the bookseller, they are supporting the author's they're supporting a lot of people just by buying those books. Why are we shitting on other people for fueling that community in any way that they can? And even if you're buying from a huge corporation like Barnes & Noble or Books A Million or Indigo or Chapters or whatever, wherever you're buying them, that is putting money into the pockets of the people working there, which is fueling that community. So by buying books, which is something that you love, you are fueling a community, you are helping out the economy in that area and the economy of books in general. And that's not to say that's the only way to support an author because it definitely isn't. Let's examine something like a book goes big. Say, let's talk about The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. So The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo is all over booktube. People are continuing to buy it and they are supporting that author by buying it. Why are you shitting on them buying that book that they love and supporting that author if you love it too? Just because they're buying it, it doesn't mean that they're better or worse. I personally get a lot of recommendations from book hauls. So I recently watched Christine from Paula Bananas Books, one of her videos where she brought up To Best the Boys. And 
I didn't know about that book coming out and now it's on my radar and now I want to read it. No one is personally coming to you and saying that you are wrong for buying makeup. I personally don't like spending a lot of money on makeup but I'm not going to go tell James Charles that he can't spend any money on makeup because it just personally offends me. So why are we talking to and commenting on people's book hauls and people that own a lot of books and saying you're not allowed to do that because it offends me personally when it's, it's just not how things work. Also, why is everyone getting so offended by people buying books? Just because you don't buy books doesn't mean you have the right to tell anyone else that they can't or that they shouldn't. Some of the big booktubers that do um, a lot of book hauls use their local library and they use their local library, find a book that they like and then buy that book. Why is that a bad thing? If books make you happy, why not be able to buy them? Why not buy them? It's your own prerogative. And the notion of people getting mad at other people that love books for buying books is completely absurd to me because we are such a small community. Why are we letting something like this completely rip us apart? We are not the beauty community. We do not have that kind of tea, that kind of drama. We need to stick together as such a small community. Why are we shitting on each other for our own decisions? If we can respect each other's negative opinions of books, why can't we respect each other's opinions on whether or not we should be able to buy as many books as we want? If you have the money, go buy books. Because even if you don't end up liking that book, someone sees it on your channel in a book haul on your bookshelf, says, oh, that looks cool, goes read it, and finds their new favorite book. And then you are helping someone find their new favorite book. Why is that such a bad thing? And that's the exact same thing that can be done with library books. If you check out a library book and you like show it on your channel, someone goes and reads it and it becomes their new favorite book. It's the exact same thing. There is absolutely no difference whatsoever if you show this book on your channel and someone goes and reads it and you've helped them find their new favorite book. Why, why does it make that much of a difference? Also, I personally like to annotate books that I really like. I was just mentioning how I like how I'm annotating the diviners and I'm writing in it and that's nice. I have also managed to annotate library books by using sticky tabs and writing notes on receipts. So there is no difference to me between annotating my own personal book and annotating a book from the library because I can do both. In the end, we all have one common goal, and that is to bring books to the forefront and talk about books. It doesn't matter where you get those books, and you shouldn't be shitting on someone because they have a different way of getting books than you do. I personally like to buy books and use from the library, and I have had favorite books that are still at the library that I have not bought for myself yet, just because I know that they're there at the library for me to read whenever I want. On the flip side, I also have books that I really disliked that I still own because I annotated in them and I can't give them to the library or give them away or anything of the sort. In the end, it's not your choice whether someone spends their money on books or not. And you're not going to change anyone's mind by hate commenting on every single one of their videos in which they show a book that they bought. If you want people to use the resources such as the library more, the best way to do it is to say, I went to my local library and it was amazing. You can do a video promoing local libraries and everything that they do because that is a positive way to show how to use the library versus attacking people that buy their own books. All in all, our community has the easiest way to get a hold of what we talk about. Makeup you have to buy, video games you have to buy. All those things are things that you have to buy, but books you can get from pretty much anywhere. The core of our community is talking about books that we like and books that we don't like and just books in general and having fun with it. Because this is so accessible, it means that our community should be the closest knit and should be the biggest, honestly. However, it is not. And because our community isn't the biggest, why are we tearing down other people in the community as opposed to banding together and being an amazing community? We already are an amazing community, but why not be even more amazing by accepting the fact that other people's opinions are just as valid as our own and other people's ways of getting books are just as valid as our own. Although it is not valid to get books illegally uh, by downloading PDFs or listening to audiobooks on YouTube, so please don't do that. All in all, I think that's about all I have to say on this topic. This is a completely like random video, 
completely impromptu. Let me know your thoughts on this topic down in the comments below. As always, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you sometime for a new one. Bye!